Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. Today I'm gonna, going to be doing a, a metallic makeup look. Um, I'm going to start by using the NYX Angel Veil Primer to prime my face. I really like this primer. As you can see, I used quite a lot of it. <laughs> um, but I like it because it kind of just smooths out your skin and kind of helps it look um, flawless. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I'm going to use this to uh, conceal my under eyes and to highlight my face as well. Now I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to blend out the concealer. cover up my blemishes, I am going to use the Sephora Bright Future Gel Ser Serum Concealer. Uh, I use the shade Custard during the summertime um, on my face and then I use buttercream underneath my eyes more in the winter. Um, during the summer I don't normally use foundation so I kind of just use this concealer to cover up the areas where I need to cover um, and then you know kind of just leave the rest of my face bare and then I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender again I really love this concealer though because it gives you a nice amount of coverage without looking cakey and it's very easy to blend out as well And now to bronze my face, uh, this will be coming soon to Pure Rebellion Cosmetics. Uh, this is a cream bronzer, uh, so I'm just going to apply this to the normal areas where you want to shadow um, my cheek bones, just underneath my cheekbones, onto the sides of my nose, and then just a little bit on top of my forehead as well. Uh, this cream bronzer is really nice. It's matte. It kind of is, it's warm, but not too warm, has more of a neutral undertone. Okay, and now to highlight, I'm going to use another cream, Pure Rebellion product. This one should be coming out soon as well. Um, it looks very dark in the tube, but when you go to apply it, it just gives you a very nice like golden highlight. So I'm just going to use my finger to pick up the product, and then I'm going to dab it onto the tops of my cheekbones, and then blend it out a little bit with my beauty blender. I am going to use the RCMA translucent powder to set my under eyes and then I am going to use pearl to highlight where I use the cream highlighter. Also try not to poke yourself in the eye with your brush like I did here very painful. I really like Pearl as a highlight for my cheekbones. Um, even though it's a white-based highlight, 
the copper reflex really look beautiful on top of the cheekbones and you don't really get like a white cast um, with the other pigments it just kind of looks like you're glowing so I typically use this on like an everyday basis and it doesn't really look um, powdery on top of your cheekbones either and now I'm going to set the rest of my face with the same RCMA uh, no color powder this is a nice powder for every day. It doesn't really keep me matte, but um, it's enough to just kind of set all the creams in place so nothing moves around. Now I'm going to fill in my brows using this um, Brow Gal Eyebrow Powder. I use the dark shade um, to fill in my brows. I don't do anything too crazy. I kind of just fill in the ends where there's kind of no hairs. Um, but just kind of define the front part too. So now I'm just going to set my eyebrows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I got this as a sample size, but I really like it. The only thing is it's very wet, so you kind of have to be careful not to apply too much or your brows look like they were seriously gelled down. But I mean it lasts all day and I am very happy with it. It looks good. Now I'm going to just lightly bronze my face using the middle shade in the Kat Von D palette and this is the Sigma F70 brush. Um, I kind of just got this. This is a small angled contour brush I believe um, but it's really nice just to add a little bit more definition with bronzer um, on top of the cream that I already used. So now we're going to get started on the eyes. I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer. I've had this for a while so I'm not even sure if they sell it anymore but I mean any eyeshadow primer works. Um, I'm just going to apply this all over my lid and then set it with the RCMA no color powder and a fluffy brush. So now we're going to use the Pure Rebellion Cosmetics eyeshadows. I'm a little excited if you can't tell. Um, I'm using Ember in my crease on a fluffy um, natural hair brush. I'm not sure what brand this is from. Um, <clears throat> and in this palette I kind of just have the most recent uh, Pure Rebellion eyeshadows. So I'm just going to work this into my crease using um, windshield wiper motions and small little circles just building up the color now that I have the color built up I'm going to pick up this clean blending brush, I believe it's by Mally, um, and I'm just going to diffuse the color a little bit more, that way there are no um, harsh lines, and then repeat the same thing on my next, on my other eye. What's really nice about these um, eyeshadows too are that they're very easy to blend, so if you do happen to apply too much color in one spot, you can um, just blend it out and it'll look fine. I really like this color because it is uh, pretty much just like a true red. Uh, it has slight brown undertones, but it's perfect for any kind of warm, smoky eye you're going for.
so now we're going to pick up Poppy, which is part of the metallic collection. Um, it's a beautiful red shimmer shade. Uh, it has tons of pigment, and um, we're going to use the Real Techniques 203 brush. It's part of the Bold Metal Collection. It's a synthetic fluffy brush, but it's also really good for applying shimmer eyeshadows uh, to larger areas. For this look, I wanted to do a halo eye. So I'm really applying the majority of the color to the outer and inner corner and leaving the center of my eye as blank as I can. As you can see right by my lash line, there's no color there. Um, and then later we're going to go in with a different color to um, highlight that part. As you can see, Poppy is a very pigmented shade, but it's also blending out very nicely into our crease color, which is Ember. So again, if you apply a little bit too much product, it will be easy enough to blend out and fix. Also, these red tones are perfect for green eyes because they're opposite on the color wheel. It'll really make them pop. So now we're going to pick up this synthetic shader brush. This is from uh, Sigma. And we're going to pick up Honey and apply this to the center of the lid where uh, we left blank for the halo eye. Right now I'm kind of just applying the color to get... Um, an idea of what it's going to look like and then once we have the amount of color that we want we can just blend it in on the sides with poppy that I blended Poppy and Honey together, I'm just going to apply a little bit more Honey to add just a little bit more pigment. Now we're going to go onto the lower lash line and we're going to do the same exact thing that we did on the top. So right now I am using a pencil brush to apply um, ember all along the lower lash line. highlight the inner corner with this small fader brush and we're going to use Halcyon. Um, this is a little bit of a lighter gold than Honey but it's also part of the metallic collection um, so it's just light enough to highlight the inner corner if you would like. If not you could use Pearl or Yasni as well I think it would complement the look great.
now I'm going to highlight just a little bit more with Yasme because I mean can you even have too much highlight um, so this one's more of a neutral um, almost a champagne color but it's also very gorgeous to highlight the cheek That is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this look. Um, I think it is a beautiful look for fall, which is you know approaching quickly. Um, if you would like to purchase these eyeshadows, you can check out my website, purerebellioncosmetics.com. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.